morning everybody we're sounding bright and good morning vietnam <laughs> we're sounding bright and cheerful but we're actually knackered because we've had hardly any sleep we didn't end up going to bed till about four o'clock and um yeah been up again early um so today we go to reenact the battle of the alamo as gary's calling it yeah. um yeah the jeep yeah we're going to take the jeep back which still really stinks which is really nice but stinks like an ashtray yeah um we've been to reception to sort out our breakfast vouchers and everything so what we're going to do we were going to give you a quick tour around the villa and look out in all the um stuff and everything but um we have decided and said that we're going to whip over and have some breakfast take you with us for that that's not working Oh dear. Oh dear, this is a good start. Yay! We have power! I'm not sure what I'm doing or not doing to make it go. Yeah, anyway, so we're just going to go and have some breakfast and then we'll take you for a look round and we're going to go up to Alamo at the airport, which we didn't want to do. And I'm going to have to cancel my fast passes for this morning, which I'm really cross about but nothing we can do really so first day is a little bit ruined in that sense but i think we're just going to have to rehash the whole of our plans now change today completely um and maybe just take today as a bit of a as it comes day and um and go from there so off we go to breakfast So where we are, their reception block is there through a little gate you can go through and we are literally on the other side just there. So that's nice and handy to get to reception and we are now going to try and have a drive around and find breakfast. So I believe we go to the end of here and then do a left. If I've studied the map correctly. Gary's hopefully going to remember to drive on the American side of the road and not the English side of the road. The wrong side. Yeah. <coughs> no, this is the wrong side. Gary's also just noticed with this Jeep that the tyres, the back tyres, are completely on their limiters and, um, like he said, in our country they would not be legal at all. They're really, really worn down. So, and yet she sold this to us as a brand new Jeep. Right. And that's it. It's huge this place, but it's beautiful. So here we are in Sydney's bar. <laughs> right, this is the buffet breakfast that we get. So you've got some scrambled eggs, some really nice potatoes, and some sausages which meet with Gary's seal of approval. And we've got some French toast with marshmallow, cinnamon, maple syrup. Um, you've got some grits in here, and then you've got your cheese and salsa and stuff, fruit, various yogurts and granola. Boiled eggs, and we have the usual suspects on the cereal, fruit loops, and we've got some really nice chocolate and some cinnamon and various donuts, little lemon and poppy seed muffins, mini bagels, and you've got some croissants, more bagels, pan au chocolate, oh not pan au chocolate, they've got another like a Danish um, apple, um, and then jam one and a cinnamon one. You've got all your various breads and you've got jams, honey and then a toaster. It's all very very nice in here. Very nicely set out and very clean and tidy. So we're very impressed with this so far. And we've got this free um, instead of our Instead of washing. <laughs> it's a fair room. No, but we're really impressed with it. So, but normally, if you were to pay for it, it is 
12.95, which includes their coffee, or 6.99 for children, which I still think is reasonable. Um, no, we're really yeah, no, we very interested so far. 20 pounds, 20 euros, 20 dollars. Green American vegetables. Good, thank you. Very good, thank you. Yes, so, so far, very, very impressed with the Sheraton business. Right, Gary's watching television, he's not interested yeah, in you. Well. Not interested in new people at all, he's just watching television. Yeah, he, they, he gives the sausages the seal of approval. So, um, yeah, they were. Um, they weren't really nice, were they? They looked like little small ones getting Paris. The ones that tasted a bit weird out there. But they didn't but taste they really nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, in fact, I had five. But it's not as well. Anyway, we're going to um, leave here now and go back for the Battle of the Animo. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Right. Let's not share about it too. <laughs> it's a bit sore point over here for some people. <laughs> right, see you later. So this is outside of Zimmy's bar. Oh, look, there's people in the water already. This is very, very nice here, isn't it? Yeah. They've got its own moon as well. <laughs> yeah, there's the moon up there. So this is just one of the many, um, many pools that there are. Oh, that's really good. Look, they've even got a hoist there for disabled. That's really good, isn't it? Can you all have a go of it? This is a spa, it says. It's got all jets in it, so this is obviously like a spa pool. There's another one there. And obviously one solitary person in the water. So you've got an activity centre over that way. Yeah, so far very, very impressed with this resort. Here, a fitness centre. So you've got all various bits and pieces to use in there as well if you want to. Screens on it, like landscapes. Yeah. Yeah, it's all very, very nice. So. Where's the switch? Oh. No. Games room in there. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful, really beautiful. Right, so didn't film while we went to the airport, um, but we're now at Disney Springs, but we'll give you an update on what happened. So we drove back to the airport in a really stinky horrible car <laughs> really bad wasn't it um and thought we might With be one in... tire on the limiter yeah we thought we might be in for a bit of a fight um Battle of the Alamo. so we went into the drop-off place um and we explained to the lady there who was really nice wasn't she yeah. wrote loads of white writing all over the windows with yeah, list of all our, our complaints <laughs> she chalked all the well, not a lot of white pen yeah of all the faults all over the window of the car so i didn't miss it and said right if you go to customer service and explain they'll, they'll sort it out from there for you so we went there thinking oh here we go so we went round there spoke to a young man there who was really helpful he then called the manager over didn't he um and his name was uh robert geohagen so that is if that's going to focus so there he is but he was really really lovely and we explained the situation to him and he said i'm so sorry you've missed because we've missed our fast passes today now um he said, I'm really sorry you've missed all your things. This is not how we want your holiday to be. Um, and he was really accommodating, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, so he said, not only would he like to get us another car, but he'd like to upgrade us to the next level. So we had now have a, what was the? Range, uh, Range Rover Discovery Velar. I don't know if that's says. Vailar. <laughs> Vailar Marlene. Vailar Marlene. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we've got, we're on a Range Rover, um, which is top of the range. It's really lovely. Um, he was really apologetic. And he then said that because of all our inconvenience and everything, he basically took virtually half off of our bill, didn't he? Yeah. Um, and said, like, I'm going to credit you back all this. 
uh, because of the inconvenience. So I have to say, I'm going to take it all back now. Stephanie, you need sorting because you hung up on me and I'm not happy. This, is, this isn't a discovery, this is a Range Rover Sport, isn't it? Oh, Range Rover Sport, sport whatever. But anyway, it's mm. really lovely, uh, really comfortable. Um, but no, very leathery. Stephanie, I'm not happy with, but I have to say that Robert, you are the best. Uh, he was so accommodating and came and sat in the car show, just had to set everything up, didn't he? Um, and just uh, so apologetic and how American service normally is. So we've decided to abandon our plans for today. Um, we were actually going to Hollywood Studios and had all our fast passes for like Toy Story Mania and such like, but we've missed all those now. So we've decided to... Um... You all right there? I'm just looking at the dials. Oh. Um, yeah, so we decided to come to Disney Springs and we are just going to chill today and do whatever happens and get our Disney tickets sorted out and our magic bands and everything and just take it a bit easier today and then we'll just have to put today down to a, mm. a loss. Um, we'll just spend as, the day near. As far as the, as far as the um, fast passes and things go, we'll just have to like swallow that now um, and instead we will um, just take a chill out day. So Disney Springs, bit of shopping, bit of lunch, bit of mooching swap our tickets up and do that so yeah so that was well worth it yeah. worth the inconvenience i think because we've gained quite a lot of money <laughs> back yeah. and uh now we're on a pennsylvania plane yeah yeah we were on a virginia one which gary really liked because it said virginia the home of lovers <laughs> and now we're pennsylvania so that's the uh, that's where it comes from isn't it what is that not pennsylvania what dracula well, then that's Transylvania, isn't it? Oh, oh my god. No, no, that's close. <laughs> Ends no. in Ania. Yeah, no. yeah. No, no. Dracula doesn't come from Pennsylvania, <laughs> does he? It comes from Transylvania. That must be next door. Oh, I forget that. On that point, I think we're going to say goodbye and yeah, find our way. Right. We're in Lime um, Parking, and um, I've just explained to Gary that you get these little green lights um, above each of the bays that are uh, free um, and at the end of each row it tells you like a, a figure and an arrow so it will say like 28 spaces in this row whatever which is really good because it saves you going up and down rows saying oh which one's free and which one is there you know but anyway right we'll catch you in a minute so I have to say we haven't filmed an awful lot of like our journeys and things like that um, but as we've been driving along we've been seeing all the different landmarks and all the things and I've been going oh look it's Waffle House and you know it's SeaWorld and all sorts of things as we've come along and yeah I just and I said to Gary I actually feel like I'm home I just feel so familiar and so lovely and I've just got this feeling of just I just love it just really love it
is they didn't have many, so they told us to go onto the cover for the pin trainers. Then we were desperate for something to drink, so we put some Giardelli uh, with some water. And Gary's having a very very nice drink. Yeah, a berry bliss or something, uh, which is like a sorbet, and I'm having a coke float. We did look at upgrading to an annual pass, um, but it would have been 800 and something, maybe 900 dollars each, which we just didn't feel we could warrant spending at the moment. I did say to Gary, if we came back again, it would make it worthwhile doing. Um, I'm still having trouble convincing him to come back again. To be honest, since we've been back here, I feel so at home. I feel like this is. See how it goes. But no, I don't think we're going to upgrade to many cars this time anyway. There's something for another time. Here they are. Gary's berry soda thing. Don't you dare. Ah, it's got stuck. <laughs> didn't work. He wanted to blow that at me, but it didn't work. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, there's my Coke flow. So what's that like, Gary? Yeah, it's very nice. What's it taste like? Berries. Extra berries, and it's really cold. Obviously, mine's a Coke flow. We all know what that tastes like, but... Let's try some of this. Oh, that's really nice, actually. What's it done? Oh no, that is really nice. I kind of wish I had that now instead. Mm. Yes, love. machine here and you start by choosing what you want so there's all different things like your phones and whatever so you go on to magic bands and then say next and then you've got categories so you've got Mickey and Friends parks so uh, movies and then you basically scroll through find which ones you want films The problem is, there's so many to choose from, you don't know where to start. <laughs> um, so, so let's just choose one, just for the sake of it. So let's say Pluto, for example. Next. And then it shows you what colours you can have it in. So you have like a pink Pluto. Oh, that's not letting me. Pink Pluto. So let's say, say we went with traditional red. And then next, you can have it with your name or without your name. So let's say no name just for now, just to see. And then you've got to confirm order, which I don't want to do. But it doesn't say how much it is. Hmm. Okay, I might have to check on that. I've just found the price here. So there we go. So Magic Band's $24.99, or if you personalise it, $29.99. And the basic ones are $14.99, so it's not a lot more really. $10 more, so really nice phone colour covers as well. And then obviously you've got some with the pop bit already on it. Oh, I like that one with the four parks on as well. That one glows in the dark. There's some more over this way. Oh, I like the one with all the snacks on it. The problem is I like all of them. <laughs> oh, that one's got a 3D effect. That's quite cool. If 
get that one for Gary. Oh, that's really good. I like that. Choices, choices.
in the Christmas shop now. I've just spotted they've got these wreaths. And for those of you who watched my uh, craft one, my craft vlog a while back, that uh, I made one of those for Abigail. Very similar. Oh, Gary's found himself a new skirt. Mm, very nice. They've got some really lovely stuff in here. Problem is, he's getting it all home and paying for it, of course. I'll show you some of the things.
sending Gary up to cut the pizza. He gets very nervous about doing things like this when he's never done them before. But he's going up there now, all alone like a big brave boy. Gary's got his. I don't know if he was supposed to get those dough balls with it, but... Mm. Well, we can share them. I never know. So I didn't get a dough ball thing with mine. So Gary's just given me one of his. He's not quite sure. I think he confused the guy completely. So I didn't, didn't explain properly. So there was two halves and you gave me two dough balls. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Freebie. <laughs> All right, we're going to give him a try and see what we think. So that is a good pizza. I really like that. It's so much fun. Hi folks, so we're very sorry, we, um, we went around Disney Springs and did a bit of shopping, had something to eat, had our pizza and everything and then we decided to leave there because it was very hot and we were starting to feel a bit tired and jaded so as we sort of messed up our fast passes and everything today because of the car we decided we would actually go and just spend today being a shopping day and chilling out so we left disney springs and we drove to super target but before we went into super target we found a joann's now i don't know um if any of you have been to joann's but it's a it's also a bit like michael's which i don't know if you've been there but they're big sort of craft stores and they're brother and sister and they have so much stuff in them and I absolutely love them and I could spend a week just in that store because there is baking stuff and there is making stuff and there is painting and drawing and crafting and card making and Gary hates it. What was I hate it? Oh you it? used to say you'd rather rub your face on a rock than stay in there. <laughs> I had a couple of models in there, looked at those for a while. Yeah, yeah. So I went in there and I I bought a few bits in there, and I want to go back because there's still so much more I wanted to get. Um, and I just don't understand why we don't have all these sort of things in England. I mean, we've got hobby craft, which really isn't anything like it, you know. But uh, but yeah. So we went from Joanne's. We then on the same estate went on to Super Target. Had um, a coffee in Starbucks in there. Well, actually, you had a pumpkin spiced latte wasn't it yeah and I had a hot chocolate yeah, it was quite nice a bit rich mm. so we had that and then we had a bit of shopping in there and then we realized it was dark outside <coughs> and we were shattered and at the moment we can hardly keep our eyes open so it is um, probably uh, what time is it here now about 10 o'clock mm -hmm half past nine about half past nine ten o'clock and it is actually about well whatever time it is it's ten past two in england at the moment in the morning which is why we're feeling so shattered so we've tried to stay up american time so that we go to bed and get a proper night's sleep um but we are pretty shattered now so we haven't really we didn't we didn't vlog around joanne's we didn't vlog around target because we just wanted to get the bits we wanted to get and come back we were tired bunnies so we're going to say good night for tonight tomorrow morning we have got breakfast booked to be our guest in magic kingdom and we've got a few fast passes so we're going to try and see if we can actually get into a park we did go and shop for some magic bands didn't we mm. but gary couldn't make his mind up which one he liked and when he finally found one he did like they didn't have it it was on display but apparently it was the visual team that had already purchased it or something, so he couldn't have it. It was a Steamboat Willy one, wasn't it? In yeah. sort of grey, black and white. Um, so, and I couldn't find one I particularly like, so we're going to have a look in the Emporium tomorrow and see. We did go and inquire about annual passes. Um, I don't know if we've mentioned this to you, because I can't actually remember what we've told you. Um, but to upgrade was about $800 each, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah, we decided that we wouldn't do that this time either. So we were trying to see if it would work out cheaper to do that because you get money off your merchandise, you get money off your um, dining, and obviously the parking is free. But I don't think we can warrant spending that on a pass. So 
Anyway, I am so tired, I can hardly keep my eyes open and I can hardly speak and... Yeah, I'm fine, going out for a run. Yeah. So, maybe. That's probably because I've been doing all the hanging of clothes, unpacking, sorting everything out with the shopping, <coughs> while Gary's just sat in it, orange juice, drunk orange juice and egg crisps, but you know. He's trying to wear me out first, I think. So anyway, I'm going to say goodnight before I close my eyes completely because I just want to go to sleep now because I'm tired. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, all. Good night.